The next news network is sponsored in part by GetTheTea.com, a powerful detox tea to support your health. Well, it's official. There is nowhere to hide. A new recognition system can actually identify you even if you hide your face. This story comes to us courtesy of Joshua Kopstein for Motherboard, who reports that with the widespread adoption among law enforcement, advertisers, even churches, facial recognition has undoubtedly become one of the biggest threats to privacy out there. They write, by itself, the ability to instantly identify anyone just by seeing their face already creates massive power imbalances with serious implications for free speech and political protest. They continue that more recently, researchers have demonstrated that even when faces are blurred or otherwise obscured, algorithms can be trained to identify people by matching previously observed patterns around their head and body in a new paper that has been uploaded to the um, RX, RX preprint server. Uh, researchers, researchers at the Max Planck Institute in Saarbrücken, Germany, demonstrate a method of identifying individuals even when most of their photos are untagged or obscured. According to the researcher system, uh, they call it faceless recognition, and it trains a neural network on a set of photos containing both obscured and visible faces, and then uses that knowledge to predict the identity of obscured faces by looking for similarities in the area around the person's head and body. Okay, so uh, biometrics, biometric identification on steroids, clearly. Um, this is a major, major threat to privacy, uh, especially like when you apply this technology to, say, closer circuit cameras. You have municipalities putting up these cameras all over the planet. And when they, when they merge the closer circuit camera data with biometric recognition, they could track anybody anywhere in any time. So then you add the database of the biometrics that's being developed by the FBI, the NSA, all these different uh, government databases. You merge all these three together, and you have complete uh, awareness of where individuals are at all times. And they don't even have to be have tracked with an RFID tag or, or through their smartphone. They can just pick them up on a, on a, on a screen. So... Uh, very dangerous technology, if you agree. Comment below, subscribe for updates. If you like what we're doing, give us a thumbs up and share this report. For the Next News Network, I'm Gary Franchi.